Hi there, Doug Stinwin with IT Creations with a server node from Dell. This is a compact, scalable blade server designed for the Dell MX7000 modular chassis, ideal for data center applications. I'm talking about the Dell PowerEdge MX760C server node powered by fourth or fifth generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. It's designed for standard business applications, but also AI inference, database analytics, dense virtualization, and containerization. Fully loaded, the PowerEdge MX7000 chassis can support up to eight of these little dual socket gems. Oh, and did you know that you can get GPU support now too? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. And away we go. As a modular unit, the Dell PowerEdge MX760 CD server is installed in the 7U MX7000 chassis. I did a short review of the enclosure, which you can see here. That video will provide a comprehensive overview of the enclosure features. However, I realize some of you may not want to view that, so here's the short version of the MX7000 enclosure. The MX7000 basically replaced the modular Dell PowerEdge M1000E, which was getting a little long in the tooth, but did offer support for several generations of server nodes, just like the MX7000. The chassis supports the power, networking, cooling, and central management modules. Highly redundant with dual modules for management, I.O. fabrics, A, B, and C, the MX7000 chassis enclosure has five horizontal fans in back and four vertical fans in front, providing cooling. All are hot swappable, and that includes all the modules in back. With no mid-plane, the server and storage nodes connect directly to the I.O. management and storage modules on the back of the system with a clever design. All upfront storage and server nodes are vertically aligned, whereas when you go to the back, the I.O. management and storage modules are all horizontally aligned for an orthogonal connection. Six 3000 watt power modules line the bottom of the enclosure in front. Are you interested in the Dell PowerEdge MX760C server? or perhaps a package deal with the Dell PowerEdge MX7000 chassis. If you are, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off a system that's listed or one that you can configure at IT Creations that's valued at $5,000 or more. Just click that link for more information and you could be the proud owner of this software-defined data center appliance. I know, it's kind of like getting excited for a dishwasher or something. When I did the MX7000 video in 2022, the supported blades included the MX750C, MX740C, MX840C, and the MX5016S. That MX840C is a quad socket server node and the only one with, that's double width so that you can install up to four of those or up to eight of the single width server nodes. You can also mix and match with the other server sleds, including that MX5016S storage module. The other two, the MX740C and the MX750C, are dual socket single width sleds. The MX5016S storage sled can be outfitted with up to 16 2.5 inch SAS drives. Up to seven can be installed for up to 112 drive bays, but at least one server node is required. Only the MX750C supported third generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs, while the other two, the MX740C and MX840C, just first and second generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs. Video link for those last two below. The MX760C on the other hand supports fourth or fifth generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. And with no mid-plane in the enclosure, no need to replace it when the technology inevitably upgrades as the MX7000 chassis is designed to support several generations of servers. The MX760C ups the game a bit because it is new technology. Well, not new new, because then it would have Intel 6 processors. Fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs will provide up to 60 physical cores and 120 virtual threads, while fifth generation processors will give you four more cores for up to 64 physical cores and 128 virtual threads each. For both generations, you do get 80 PCI lanes, but 4.0 for fourth gen and 80 PCI 5.0 lanes for fifth gen. Memory speed is also boosted from 4600 megatransfers per second to 5600 megatransfers per second, but only with platinum and some gold CPUs. The other families of silver would not give you those cores nor the top memory speeds. That said, if you were to install 5th gen Intel Xeon scalable platinum processors with up to 64 cores each in both sockets, you can roll with up to 128 physical cores and 256 virtual threads. You can also reach that top memory speed of 5600 megatransfers per second, assuming one DIMM per channel. This system is currently outfitted with dual fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable 8462Y CPUs with 32 cores each. 
It has a base frequency of 2.8 gigahertz and a maximum turbo frequency of 4.1 gigahertz and a thermal design power rating of 300 watts. While only fourth generation, the CPU is only about one and a half years old having been released in the first quarter of 2023. Think about that. Since then, they've released not only the fifth generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs, but also Intel Xeon 6 6700 CPUs with up to 144 efficiency cores or up to 88 performance cores. And you can double that core count for virtual threads thanks to Intel's hyper-threading technology. Just wait for the Intel Xeon 6 6900 series at the end of the year with up to 288 E cores and 128 P core options. As I have said before, technology never ages well. The PowerEdge MX760C server node provides a bit more front accessible storage too. Four and six bay 2.5 inch SAS SATA options deliver up to 61 terabytes. The six bay version supports 2.5 inch SAS, SATA and NVMe for the maximum storage capacity of up to 92 terabytes. Another spanking new storage option includes eight E3.S NVMe PCI 5.0 SSD bays for up to 61 terabytes of super fast storage. To manage this server sled and the others in the chassis, the Dell OpenManage Modular Edition portfolio delivers the goods with automation and a centralized one-to-many solution. It comes standard with Dell OpenManage Enterprise, which leverages the integrated Dell Remote Access Controller 9.0, or iDRAC 9, in each of the server nodes to provide system status and inventory. There are also several integration options for OpenManage, including the Microsoft System Center, Red Hat Ansible module, and VMware vCenter and vRealize Operations Manager, to name a few. You can access iDRAC directly for each server node through the iDRAC port on the front of the system. Along with the storage options on the front of the server and that iDRAC port, there is a USB 2.0 port right above the power on button. That USB port can also be used to access iDRAC. If you do go with optional liquid cooling, you only get the four bay option as it will take up the storage cage directly adjacent to the small control panel. Looking at the motherboard, you can see the dual sockets, 16 memory slots for each processor for up to 32 slots total and up to eight terabytes at capacity. As each CPU delivers eight memory channels and supports 16 memory module slots, for full capacity, you will install two DIMMs per channel using 256 gigabyte R-DIMM modules. There are five PCI slots. Four of them are PCI 4.0 with two of those dedicated for a PERC controller and the BOSS respectively. The other three have a BI-16 interface and a link width with one connecting to each of the modules in back for Fabric A, B, and C. The Fabric C modules are for SAS and fiber channel connectivity, which connect to the PERC controller on the server sled to potential MX5016S storage modules. Fabrics A and B are for IO connectivity, and we have installed a Dell QL41262 CNA mezzanine card offering dual 25 gigabit ethernet ports. Also available is a 32 gig fiber channel IO option. As you can see, there are two connectors on the mezzanine card. So if you have say two Fabric A modules, Fabric A1 and A2, you can connect to both. The mezzanine card for Fabric B mounts on the other side of the server sled. Again, you can install one or two modules for Fabrics A, B and C, even two MX9002 M management modules, all in the name of redundancy. The MX5000 Fabric C I.O. module can connect internally to the onboard storage, but also to external chassis. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wow, that Dell PowerEdge MX7000 modular chassis is kind of cool, but too bad it doesn't support GPUs. Well, it does now. In fact, shortly after I posted that MX7000 overview video, an independent company, Amulet Hotkey, which sounds kind of more like a medieval themed video game, came out with a core module MX. It provides GPU acceleration modules for the MX7000 modular chassis using the NVIDIA Tesla T4 accelerator. No, they don't load in the front like the other server and storage modules. Instead, the core module MX replaces Fabric B1, B2, or both I.O. modules in the back of the enclosure. The thing is, you don't actually have to have both Fabric Management or Storage modules installed. With two core module MX expansion modules, up to 16 NVIDIA T4 GPUs can be installed, in pairs. The Core Module MX provides support for more applications like virtual workstations, advanced virtualization, and computing, plus better for those IoT, AI, big data, machine learning, inference, AI training, general HPC, and more. It offers a low latency PCI connection between a compute sled and the Core Module MX units. 
You'll also need to install an Amulet Hotkey mezzanine card in the dual socket server nodes. With a dual socket server nodes like the NX750C installed in the NX7000 chassis, each sled can access two GPUs as there is one-to-one -one mapping GPU to CPU. With a single core module MX, you can provide for up to 128 virtual desktop users. This year, as in 2024, they upgraded the spec to include the core module 2.0 with L4. That would be the NVIDIA L4 GPU with Ada Lovelace architecture. The core module 2.0 is designed to work with the Intel Xeon scalable 4th and 5th gen CPUs. In other words, a perfect fit for the Dell MX760C server sled. In a nutshell, yes. This video is about the MX760C server node, but I can't just talk about that without providing a little information about the enclosure. That Amulet Hotkey Core Module MX and the updated Core Module 2.0 was definitely a surprise for me. They were hiding the 2.0 version, so I almost didn't include it in this video. Check out that Dell PowerEdge MX7000 chassis video I did a few years ago. At this point, the almost full lowdown as I did present some new information on the MX7000 module and chassis in this video. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button if you made it this far. And if you need more information about this system or the enclosure, click one of the links in the description or the one right there. Check out IT Creations for all of your server needs, itcreations.com. Until next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching. Thank you.